Hey there, Socket here. Uh, today we're going to continue on with our PC tool tutorials. Uh, this is number eight in the series and uh, if you've been following along we've been uh, looking at the configuration side of the PC tool software uh, before moving on to the other tabs which are more associated with the audio tuning. So um, we've been looking at the inputs output configuration and then following the signal flow you know from your uh, source unit to your speakers and in the last episode we talked about uh, the input signal analyzer and now we're going to follow the signal flow along and we come to the um, sound effects uh, within the virtual channel processing so um, right up front if you don't have virtual channel processing enabled uh, this video probably won't apply to you uh, we've talked about this in previous videos um, so if you are uh, wondering what virtual channel processing is pop back a couple of videos and um, it's all explained there so um, assuming that you have your virtual channel processing turned on um, in I think it was episode 5 we were talking about um, the input output configuration routing and how your inputs are going to your virtual channels and how some of these virtual channels had sound effects um, capability uh, associated with them so for example this front center full channel has a center sound effects um, so in this video we're going to cover how do you uh, enable those sound effects if you're going to use them and and uh, what options are available to manipulate them so the sound effects menu can be found uh, in the FX tab in the header um, when you click on that you will see there will be a number of tabs up in the upper right of the screen uh, this will vary depending on the make and model of your DSP um, so we're simulating the Helix Ultra and we have two tabs available one for uh, sound effects associated with your subwoofers or bass and one tab associated with um, sound effects for your center channel so we'll have a look at the based ones first so this DSP has uh, two sound effects that can be applied to the subwoofer um, one being dynamic bass enhancement and the other one being sub expander um, these features can be turned on or off using these little check boxes so uh, you can have one or both turned on um, the dynamic bass enhancement is essentially a volume um, controlled dynamic boost uh, effect um, so for example uh, your subwoofer will have a bass boost when the volume is turned down and the bass boost will be attenuated when your volume is turned way up um, you can either have this set in auto mode or manual mode so um, in manual mode you can change the amount of boost that is added when the volume is turned down and you can also uh, change the frequency of the shelf filter that um, is used to create this effect so uh, I think the fault set at 40 or if you don't want to muck around with that you can just turn it on to auto and let the DSP handle it so the sub expander adds um, I guess additional low notes to your subwoofer uh, playback um, so 30 Hertz and below uh, I guess that's to give you a you know, richer fuller um, sound coming from your subwoofer um, so now let's go and have a look at the center processing sound effects and on the Helix Ultra uh, there are two options um, one is real center and the other is clarity expander and these really only apply for your um, using a center channel the uh, real center uh, essentially gives more width and I guess more clarity to your center image by manipulating the mono and stereo signals uh, that are uh, sent to your left right and center channels um, once again these features are simply turned on and off using the enable or disable um, click buttons here uh, the clarity expander uh, essentially sprinkles some more high frequency content to your front sound stage um, you can uh, let the uh, DSP handle that dynamically um, however if it's a bit over the top for you or, or, or not enough um, you can uh, change this manually um, to light medium or high uh, depending on your tastes 
Um, so they are the uh, sound effect options that are available on the Helix Ultra. Uh, for other makes and models of um, ATF uh, DSPs, uh, they have a bunch of other uh, sound effects that are available that clearly are not covered in this video, but I will drop a link to the ATF website where they have a, a knowledge base that covers a lot of the um, a lot of the sound effects uh, that are, are available. So if you can't see the sound effects in this video that apply to your DSP, certainly go have a look at on the AFT website and um, read up all about them. Um, so that is a quick rundown of the uh, sound effects uh, menu. Uh, once again, no, thanks very much for watching. And if you've got any uh, questions, please pop them down in the comments. Uh, otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.